Okay, so this is potentially the thing that has had the most impact on my productivity during the day. The thing, okay? And I'm actually making the video uh, partially for myself because about two or three times a week I get asked to explain this concept of the when to do list. So it's not that I'm lazy, I'm just being efficient, right? So if anyone asks me in future, I'm gonna send in the link to this video <laughs> instead. It's like when everyone says, you know, what's your top five books for entrepreneurs? I have a link to a video where I've explained it rather than go through it a million and one times. And of course, it doesn't mean I'm not interested in engaging with you. But with that out of the way, um, the whole point of the when to do list is to take the to-do list to an actually uh, like to a productive level i think the problem with a to-do list is that you never actually get anywhere when you just write a list of things you're going to do and again what it comes down to is that thing about intent versus action intent is lovely it really is but action is what gets you the results and and you know what we're looking for when we build a list of things we want to get completed in the day we're looking for completion right we're not looking for it to look nice and I think a major problem with when to do lists is that you tend to find you get a bit of momentum when you start and um, tell me if you know let me know if you feel this is wrong but you tend to find there's a bit of momentum you start getting when you start building the list of things you're going to do um I suppose what I mean by this is that you end up saying, right, oh, I've got this I want to do, and I'm going to do this, and then this. Oh, well, hang on, there's this, but then I need to do this and this and this and this and this. You end up with a huge list, and typically, at best, on a good day, you end up with two-thirds of the list completed, and then the rest of it falls by the wayside, and that's a good way of ma making yourself feel a bit rubbish. Um, I do feel that the flaw in the to-do list is that it's not that you can't prioritize i'm sure you could number it you know in order of or you know order of things that you want to have completed but it doesn't push you there's not enough natural urgency in there to get things done so what i'm going to suggest is definitely a step forward it made the biggest change for me whenever i'm having a uh when i'm ever i'm worried about productivity levels i just make sure i do the when to do list so it's as simple as this you build the list of things you want done order them in priority so the order you need them to be completed by and then the crucial element is you put when you're going to do each one so basically next to it so i have a whiteboard at home and i'll i'll have a whiteboard with, with or rather a list on the whiteboard with with all of the things i've got and to the left of each item i'll have the actual time when i'm going to start building that list okay uh, i'm sorry when i'm when i'm going to start each uh, task on the list so what i'm going to do is say for instance i would literally start with 8:15 build my list 8.19, because it might take me four minutes, um, check email um, for urgent things. 8.20, because that would be just a glance. 8.20, post to Facebook. I'm just making stuff up as I go. Uh, 8.29, um, you know, make phone call to this person, uh, you know, or something like that. 8.45, do X. 8, 9, 8, uh, 59, do whatever. So it's specific times based on how long I expect or think things are going to take. It takes a while to get used to this, but what happens is uh, over a while you realize that posting to Insta Instagram takes you about 15 minutes because you've got to think of creative, you've got to produce it, add the filter, think about the hashtags, all that kind of stuff. And even with a bit of practice, it takes a certain amount of time. So you know to build in a 15 minute window for that. So whatever it takes, you know, a cup of coffee isn't five minutes is 20 because there's making the coffee then there's having it and there's any distractions things like that whatever it is is building that timing correctly and here's the secret source it's not just adding the time that makes the difference it's actually adding uh or, or conditioning yourself to understand that it's it's a challenge that you're building in here what you're saying to yourself is i'm gonna do this i'm going to be fighting against the clock so the idea is that Instead of it being, you know, a kind of, oh, I'll just try and do it and see how it goes. It's like, watch that clock. I've got seven minutes left till I need to have completed this next task. I've got 15 minutes to do this blog post. I've got to get this stuff done. And it pushes you. What's amazing about it is two things. Firstly, the, the day, by the way, it sails past. It goes really fast. 
um, but you get everything done because you know exactly what you're gonna do and your job's just to stay on point, okay? Your job is to push yourself to stay on point. Building a little contingency here and there, maybe you add the odd minute extra here and there to make sure that you don't you know, uh, fall behind too much. But then the other thing that is amazing about it is that you can be at any point in the day and know at the end of the day, all that stuff's gonna be done. It's an amazing feeling when you start your day at whatever time and you know you look at the clock and it's like quarter past nine or something and you say to yourself, I know at 4 p.m. I'll be doing this. More importantly, I know at the end of the day, all that stuff's to me gonna be um, uh, completed. It makes such a difference when you um, concentrate on making sure that you focus on the times and stick into that time it makes a huge difference your productivity will soar because you are pushing yourself to meet those targets each day basically what this is it's gamification of your to-do list and that's it it's as simple as that try i urge you i've become a machine as, as a result i never thought i could be more productive than i was and the productivity i had originally was a to-do list based on great intent. Um, and I intended to do my best and try, and try and break it, but when you add the when to-do list and building those times and make it kind of like a challenge to hit each time point, it's huge because I was, I had, there's no room for slippage. You know, I'd build in time for seeing my daughters. I would build in time for making coffee or doing my exercise or literally anything, 10 minutes for reading, five minutes for researching X, whatever it might be. Everything is built in so your day is just paint by numbers. So I urge you to try it. Let me know what you think in the comments, what productivity hacks work for you, but I want you to try it and let me know if it's worked or if it's made a difference for me. I've never realized I could do more in a day and I really can. It's about taking out those moments when you can slow down a bit. Instead, it's that natural urgency you're creating by adding a time. Take care. Speak to you soon.